so the first question is, um, Salams Ustad, what would you advise practicing Muslims who are struggling with exclusive same-sex attraction, no desire for women at all, sometimes it feels like things will never get better, I make dua and pray constantly, but the pain and struggle is daily. It feels never ending, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that is a, a very uh, deep question. I get asked this question. Um, I take about uh, um, 30 clients per week, 30 to 35 <laughs> clients per week, alhamdulillah. And I would say out of, let's say 35, about 15 will be having SSA issues, mm -hmm. right? 15 to 20 per week, subhanAllah. Mm -hmm. um, it is a huge problem that is um, increasing in our ummah. It's beyond the scope maybe of this, uh, this program to discuss that. But um, mm -hmm. to answer the question, uh, first and foremost, I, I refer you to a, a statement of, I, I think it was Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu anhu. When he was asked, about a man who was very much struggling with a, with the desire, okay? And it's not a here, the, my point is not whether that desire was hetero or homo uh, sexual. What he said, the, the man couldn't get it. That's, that's what I want you to focus here, that that man was not able to fulfill that desire. Mm -hmm. And he was, he was sick. He became sick because of it, okay? He basically, um, and yes, having a broken heart can be classified as a spiritual, uh, you know, uh, sickness or even something that you could pretty much die from, right? So, and Abdullah bin Abbas, uh, the person died, okay? He passed away because of, he was so attached to, to this desire. He wanted to be, to, to, expl to, to express his love and couldn't, but he was holding himself for the sake of Allah. And Abdullah bin Abbas said, a person who does that will die the death of a martyr. Mm. Okay, he said, the person who will struggle with a desire, something that he cannot fulfill, or she cannot fulfill, that he, he or she will die the death of a martyr, right? 